All right, welcome back, everybody, with another Real Talk, a word for the day. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we thank the Most High for so much. My title now says, Can You Make It to Heaven Without Loving the Most High? This is a video response back to you, um, YouTube name, Jesus is the Way, Repent and Sin No More. I love your YouTube screen name, and uh, thank you for all the comments and encouragement and support that you always give on her. A big shout out to you. Um, I love this this um, title you had. I'm not taking no credit on this, my brothers and sisters. Um, he came up with this. And I hear this all the time also, that you don't even have to love the most time. You can still, you know, make it to heaven. I hear this all the time. And I apologize for getting back so late with the response. But I hear this all the time. I can make it to heaven without love. It's just like me hearing all you got to do is just believe, brother, and you good. Just believe. And the Bible say even the demons and the devils believe. But without love, how can you make it to heaven? You can't. Everything that our father done was out of love. It started with love. When he gave his only begotten, unique, he didn't give us a percentage of our Savior. Our Savior didn't come in portions, but he gave his best. He gave his all. He gave himself. That's love. What greater love is that in a man that would lay down his life for a friend? So when you start talking about trying to make it to the creator who gave us such a beautiful creation that everything he did was love, long-suffering as our father is. How can you or why would you want to spend eternal life with somebody you don't even love? I can't even see myself even having a thought of doing something like that. Everything I do from my heart is out of love. That's why I love doing what I do. We always heard growing up, oh, I love him because he first loved me. And I wonder that out of all the people I heard say that, how many of them truly love the most high? And I always wonder what would happen if he didn't love you first. And I mean that with no disrespect. See, we done got so caught up in so many sayings that we have to understand all those sayings that we say truly, are they truly biblical? Do they line up with scripture? So brother, I've been hearing this a lot of, I don't know if you're a male or a female, forgive me if I um, get it wrong because I just, you know, see the screen name, you know, in the little picture. So when I'm, when I'm looking at what you're saying here, it's so powerful, so powerful because it's a dangerous game to say you can make it without love. It's a dangerous way of thinking when you say, all I got grace and mercy. I can pretty much live any kind of way I want to. It's a dangerous thing when you say once saved, always saved, and you ain't even been saved yet. The Bible say those that endure to the end, what? Shall be saved. See, we got a lot of people, good people that's going to miss heaven. The Bible ain't never showed you because you all that good. As a matter of fact, our Savior said, call no man good but the Father. Some people think they're going to make it in because of what I've been doing, good works. Can you earn your salvation? It don't matter how many days you go to church, how much tithes and offering you putting in, how good you sing in the choir, you preaching, you a deacon, you a usher, you're a Sunday school teacher, you're a secretary, you are faithful this and that, that's good. But you can have all of that and still miss heaven if your heart is not right and if you do not love the Father. Without love, we have nothing at all once again. But the thing is, I look at too, I look at who I'm talking to. I look at what is being said and who is being said who is being said by excuse me because there are people who believe in heaven 
who believe in the Most High. And then there's a lot of people that say no such thing as heaven. So when you die, you're going to be just like me. You ain't going nowhere. I hear that all the time from atheist people. See, people going to believe and people are not going to believe. It's not your job to try to make people believe. All you got to do is just spread the word, pray for them, and keep moving. Reach out all you can. But we can't make nobody believe. We can't make nobody accept. Matter of fact, our father didn't even create robots, so he didn't make us do nothing. He laid out commandments, but by you having free will, you're either going to accept or you're going to reject. Some people don't care nothing for heaven, don't care nothing for the Bible, don't care nothing about our Savior. Well, when you back up to John 15 and 13, he said it once again, greater love had no man than this, that a man laid out his life for his friends. Who else would lay down their life for a whole entire world, for the good and the bad? Who else would lay down their life for the homosexual? Teach Holy Spirit, the drunk man, the drug user, the drug, the dope dealer, the prostitute. Who else would have died on the on, on the cross or some may say on the tree? Who else would have died and gave their life? Like our Savior did. None of us. Who else would have paved the way for us like that? None of us. Who else would have left glory? See, we wasn't we wasn't up there like that, no way. But who would have left their glory? To come deal with a whole bunch of messed up, stiff neck, disobedient, <laughs> lost, unrepentant type of people like us. He loved us when we didn't even love ourselves. And some of us got the nerve to say we can make it to heaven without love. Nah, that's not going to happen. Love is a requirement. Love is is a commandment. Think about that. When you go back to the Old Covenant, or some may call it the Old Testament, when you look at Deuteronomy 6, chapter 6, verse 5, he says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. That alone right there tells you you shall love the Lord your God, not just sometime, but with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Even when you go to Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18, he said, you shall not take vengeance, nor bear any grudge against the sons of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. He says, I am the Lord. Love your neighbor as yourself. How? Can you love your neighbor or anybody else if you don't love yourself? If you don't love the Most High? How can you say you love the Most High whose face you have never seen, but you haven't even spoke to your brother? You don't love your sister. You can't make it without love. See, I just said the Old Covenant, but even when you move to the New Covenant, when they ask the question, which of these is the greatest commandment? What did our Savior say? He said the two greatest commandments, what are they? He said you love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments right here, hang all the law and the prophets. So, when you go to the Old Covenant, it was love. When you fast forward to the New Covenant, the two greatest, it was love. You got people sitting around here fighting about who keeping the law and all this fighting and fussing on the law and they can't even keep love. Let the church say amen. All this fussing and fighting on, hey, well, I'm a, you know, I'm this, I'm that. I'm, uh, you got to keep the law. This, you, I'm going to eat right. I'm going to do this. And you don't even love your brother and your sister. You don't even love each other. Because if you truly love the most high, it ain't no such thing as, 
I'm going to keep fighting and, and fussing with my brothers and sisters. That's why I get past people with all that. That is the two greatest. Love. 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 Without love, you ain't going to make it to heaven. You got to love the most high with all your heart, soul, mind. That's the first and great commandment. The second one, just like it. Love thy neighbor as thyself. That's Matthew 22, verses 36 through 40. As a true believer, how can you not love? It's a lot of people I don't like, but I love them. So a lot of people get mad. with well, JT, what you mean by that? I don't like you, but brother, sister, I love you. I'm just simply saying I don't like your ways. I pray for you. I don't have to like what you do, but I can still love you. And I can stay away from you. See, most of our family, if we just be honest, most of our family don't even carry love. They carry hate in their heart. They got malice in their heart. They unforgiving. And these are the ones that's the closest to you. They do not even carry love in their heart. The Most High is the author of love. Loving the Most High requires knowing who the Most High is. When you wanna, when you wanna love that person, you have to know that person. How can you love what you don't know? That's why a lot of people don't love the Most High. They like the Most High every now and again. When the Most High is doing great things for them in their life. But they stay in love with Satan. Somebody catch that later. How can you love the Most High if you don't know the Most High? So, to answer your question once again, you cannot make it to heaven without love. Even if you don't know how to read a book, you still know how to love. You have been showed how to love. To love the Most High is to worship and praise the Most High in spirit and in truth. Loving the Most High once again requires knowing the Most High and that knowledge begins with what? The word of the Most High. To know our Father is to love our Father. It is written Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. I can go on to so many scriptures about love, but I'll take the rest of my life doing it. You have to love, you have to love the Most High. But the Most High does not force nobody to serve him, to love him. When you really know that you love the Most High, this is how you really know that you love the Most High. You put the Most High first. Over your wife. Hmm. Wives, over your husband. When Even when your husband is wrong, you're going to stay to what's right. Even when your wife is wrong. See, the problem is, nowadays, we got the most high in the wrong spot. Oh, teach Holy Spirit. I feel you're going another, another direction with this video. Some of us got the most high last, and some of us don't even have the most high at all. It's amazing how we can go through our whole days... Every day doing this and doing that, but when it comes to the most high business, man, I, ain't, I don't have time to study. I don't I don't have time to read. I don't have time to do this. Man, I gotta get up early in the morning. But we made time for the football the football game. We make time to be on Facebook all day. We make time to do this and do that. We're not going to miss what we love doing. Oh, what you say, JT? We're not going to miss what we love doing. Oh, let me rewind that. Doing, Angel, what was out. We're not going to miss what we love doing, which is all the other stuff is put in front of the most time. When he said you cannot serve two masters. Two masters could be anything. It could be your job. Fellas, it can be that woman. It could be money. It can be whatever it is that's got you blocked and hindered away from the most high. That is what you serving. That's what you love. And that is your master. You loving that and you hating the most high. Y'all better walk with me. The Holy Spirit is teaching. The comforter is teaching. The teacher is teaching. I'm learning a whole lot from this video. 
to put our father first. That's the true love. But we put in the world, uh oh, first, brother PB Jones. We cannot love this present world here and the most high at the same exact time. Go back to 1 John chapter 2 and get around verse 15. To love our Father is to truly obey our Father. See, with me saying all this, now we get a greater picture on how many people love the Most High and how many people really don't care nothing for the Most High way and obeying the Most High. That's why a lot of people are going to miss heaven. They're going to miss it. They don't have the love in their heart. He even put in scripture, they worship me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So many people are doing everything else, just like the Pharisees was doing, but they was missing the big picture. A lady told me the other day, you know, JT, I've been in church all my life. I'm 57. I've been paying tithes for a long time. She say, I be, I'm faithful to the building. I'm a heavy tithe payer. She said, I sing in the choir. I used to be a musician at such and such Baptist church. Now I'm ushering on the door. My husband is a deacon. My uncle is the pastor. I, I lay hands on people. I speak in tongues. I, I say, you know what? That's great. That's awesome. You can do all of that. I say, but if your heart is not right, you're going to miss heaven. You got to love what you do. So many people doing stuff because somebody else done told them they called him. Well, sister, you sound like a preacher. Brother, you got that preaching voice. You sound like, next thing you know, they being ordained. How is it nowadays everybody is in the pulpit? Everybody keeps switching their name to I'm, I'm prophet this. Well, brother, I'm bishop. I'm apostle this. Well, I'm prophet this. I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. See, it's going to be, what am I saying? The most High showed us in his word. The greatest words of our Savior that a lot of people miss, he said, it's going to be people on that day saying, Lord, then we not prophesize in thy name. Cast out demons in thy name. And he says such a simple announcement. He's going to tell them, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. See, that sounds like a lot of people who are claiming to be doing the works of the Father. That let you know how Satan got so many churches set up. It's going to be a whole lot of preachers, deacons, evangelists, ministers of the gospel. Musicians, praise team leaders, choir members. It's going to be a whole lot of people bust the leg of fire wide open because they was never working for the Father. He never knew them. See, that's hard to tell people, but it's the truth. I always tell people the three surprises you're going to get about heaven. Who you see, who you don't see, and shocked that you made it in. Somebody catch that later on. So without love, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. And look at how many people are doing stuff out of love. I mean, without love, excuse me. And then there are people doing stuff with all their heart. People drawing said something as I was looking at his video series that he had. He made a very powerful statement. And big brother, once again, shout out to you. Appreciate everything you do. Much love to you. People John said in his video, if you just only knew Jesus as the man, then you messed up. You lost. And then he came back and explained in the video what was Jesus. Because a lot of people only looked at the man. That's how a lot of them did that the Bible spoke about. They only looked at the miracles. They only looked at certain things. Just like the Pharisees, they missed the big picture. Don't you miss the big picture. He said, if you only knew Jesus as the man, you didn't know him. You lost. Many Christians right now only see the man, but they don't see what Jesus was.
I ain't trying to preach that PP drawings. You already done it. Y'all go check the video out. If you don't see the word, if you don't see the Holy Spirit, you still lost. So as I sum this up to, to end this video, to love the most high is to care for the ones he loves. Oh, I know that's hard sometimes. I know. I know. Because some people just don't have no do right in them at all. Stop talking about my family, JT. All right, I'm talking about mine too. But to love our fathers, to care for the ones he loves. That's not no regular type of love, is it? That's what we call that unconditional, or some may call it that agape love. Loving unconditionally. Meaning it don't matter what's wrong with you. I love you. See, that's not easy to do all the time. This is not love based on how I feel. Emotions, ladies. You can't just love at a certain time. Well, you know, this is... This is not an emotional love. This is the will of the Father. This is what kind of love this is. That's why so many people only serve the Father when they feel right. When things are going right. When things are going wrong, they serve its drop. Well, loving our Father is a service. See, for me, serving our Father is not an opportunity, but it's an obligation. It's true worship. As my beautiful sister B. Jackson would always say, it's our lifestyle. So if my lifestyle don't match who I love and what I'm talking about, how I'm living don't line up, ain't no need to me talking about going to heaven. I'm not going to make it. I wouldn't be doing none of this. I wouldn't be sitting in this church right now reaching out to you if I didn't love the Father. Once again, I wouldn't want to spend my eternal life with somebody I don't love. What kind of life would that be? I don't even see how people say they love each other so much and they still married, but they split up and get away from the covenant of the Most High. When he says what he put together, no man should turn apart. It just shows you how many wasn't put together by the Most High. And how so many just done gave up. Let, let me leave that alone. That's that's a whole nother video. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blessed day. As I close, without love, ain't no need to talk about going to heaven. Without the most high, we're not even going to make it. So why would our father love us? And then we turn around talking about we serving our father, but we don't love our father. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Blessed day.